click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now we are going to discuss the design of decayed repel counter. Let's start the discussion. So your heading is decayed repel counter. So first of all, you should know what is the meaning of decayed. Decayed means what? It should count up to what? 0 to 9. And for 10, it should stop. You can say in other words, mod 10 counter. Or also you can say BCD counter. So maximum number of states you can achieve here is 10. Maximum number of states equals to 10. Number of flip flops used here is what? 4 and 0 to 9 you have to count. So, with the use of the logical diagram and the truth table, you have to design the decayed counter and specifically a ripple counter. So, we will start with the truth table. So, for 0000, we have decimal 0, 0001, we have decimal 1 for counting purpose, then 0010, we have 2, after that 0011, we have counting 3 then 0 1 0 0 this is for 4 0 1 0 1 for 5 0 1 1 0 this is for 6 after that we have 0 1 1 1 for 7 then 1 0 0 0 for 8 up counting we are doing and 1 0 0 1 4 9 means 0 to 9 you have to count and for 1 0 1 0 that is 10 you have to reset the flip-flop so this is all about for ticket counter now if you see here the logical diagram It should consist of four number of flip-flops. So we will draw here four number of flip-flops. This becomes your first flip-flop. This is your second one. This is your third flip-flop. And this is your last flip-flop. Here you have to write inputs J A, K A, J B, K B, J C, K C, J D, K D. After that we can write here Q A, Q A bar, Q B, Q B bar, Q C, Q C bar. QD, QD bar. Now we have to show the clock signals. This becomes your clock. Output of first free flow we are going to connect to clock. And this becomes your output QD. Now we have to show the clear terminals by active low signal. Whenever clear is 0 then only it will activate. When it is 1 it will not operate. So we have taken common terminal. So we have shown here all the clear terminals by active low signals. After that you have to apply all logical inputs to logic 1. Now we will connect all inputs to logic 1. 
so logic one line you have to draw in this way you have to draw logic one line this is your jk flip flop 1 jk flip flop 2 jk flip flop 3 and here it is of 4 now you have to focus on the reset conditions so with the use of the NAND gate we are going to reset the flip flop so NAND gate here we have drawn now you have to give QD then QC bar means use NOT gate after that QB and QA bar means again apply NOT gate and write down QA so in this way you have to draw diagram for decade ripple counter consisting of four number of flip flops having outputs QD QC this is your output QC this is your output QB and this becomes your output QA and with the use of the clear terminals and using the NAND gate you have to achieve the final condition so in this way we have designed the decayed repel counter thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to ikeda